Welcome everyone to Comic Chat with Gat. I am the aforementioned Gat. With me, as always, is Taylor. Hey! And uh, this week, we're doing something a little different. We're doing some video content. Make sure you check out CBX Cast on the YouTube. Uh, and I, I thought I was going to leave this episode. So we have a great thing. e is going on. Love it. Make sure you listen to the Cardboard Box because we go through our uh, Mothership podcast. We're going through the Xbox uh, presser. We didn't do anything with Nintendo because they're terrible. No, and Nintendo we do... we're doing tomorrow. Are you going to have fun with that? And then, and then there's also Sony. Uh, we're doing Sony as well. So make sure you listen to all of them. Yep. It'll be good stuff. But today we figured... Since there is E3, those are video games, this is a comic book podcast where I know nothing and Taylor teaches me a lot, we figured we could do comic book video games. So our favorites, our least favorites, our top three, no honorable mentions. Are you sure? Positive. Okay. And uh, we're going to get right into it because we really want everyone's opinion and because the internet's always nice when you give your own opinion. Uh, so Taylor, is, is this, let's start here really quick because if anyone knows when they listen to, uh, to the cardboard box when I was on there with the game of the year edition, I don't do lists. I don't do top yeah. threes. I don't do any of this bullshit. All of mine are my favorites, period. There's no list here, but Taylor, do you have a list? No, I made mine my, I just kind of... Games you like. Games, I, my favorite comic book video games at the moment, I guess. Okay. It's hard to judge over time. Right. So uh, let's get it out there now. We're staring at our list. We have our list together. We share a Google Doc. And uh, I clearly told Taylor uh, three, but he's got five bullet points. So I'm going like... to cut him off at three, so I hope you choose wisely. Okay, all right, fine. Good. This so, is Sophie's choice. The first one's a tie. So I can... No fucking ties! <laughs> oh, my God. All right. This so. is the Batman Arkham like, series. We can count it that way, then. Yeah. Instead, it works. Okay. Fine. Well, let me, let me lay out the rules. You're right. So, because it only really applies to me. Uh, there are series, mm -hmm. and those could be in there as one. Uh, but you can't have two of the same games in a series in a good or a bad. But you can have, like, a game in the good and a game in the bad right. that are from the same kind of ethos or the canon. Um... So, so, sorry. I like the that. Batman Arkham games. Yes. Not really Origins, but it counts in that series thing as our rule. It. Never played uh, it. Never But I really, really, really like those games. Like, I'm super stoked that in a week and a half we're going to get the new Batman game. Good way to, to date us. You broke the barrier. If anyone was watching this a year ago, they would think there's a new Batman game coming out. There might be. Valid. Moving on. Um, and then, uh, just because it's like the, the combat, the, the, the costumes alone. Did you like the story? Yeah, I love the story. I, I don't... But I know a lot about Batman, so I'm already, That's like, the in fact, there was Hush in there. I was like, wah! See? I, I, I've I read Hush, and read I still Hush. didn't even get the reference. Was in there Arkham a reference, City? or was there... He was, like, a whole storyline. Was he really? Well, a side mission. Who was Hush? Oh, is that... Is the that guy the... with the bandages on his face. That's his, like, childhood friend oh. that um, hates his guts and makes himself look just like him. He, like, makes plastic surgery to make yeah, his face I never, look like Bruce I never Wayne. noticed any of that. I didn't do any of the side missions. I just did... Oh, my... the side missions were better than the main story. See, my problem with the main story was you did a lot of fetch quests. Like, you yeah. go here, like, especially the one that always bothered me was the freeze one, where you had to go to the frozen mm. water with the robotic shark, and then you go back, and then you have to yeah. go again. And that's never fun for me. I can see that. Well, but it was... the. I think the story, weirdly enough... Well, the story in Arkham Asylum was great. I mean, that was a good sure. one because it was very yeah. Metroidvania. There was no open world. You kind of were, yeah. you were a little open, but not open it. enough. I never you played. don't play Arkham I never Asylum? Because I don't like sneaking games. I'm it's... not a fan of stealth combat and sneaking detective and all that bullshit. Fine, like, fine. But I Arkham Asylum is really it. good. Uh, but I think that story-wise, the twist and the way they did Joker in Origins, as much as the gameplay wasn't as good. It was in Origins? Yeah, see, Joker? that was the thing. I like, thought Joker died at the end of Sid. Eh, well, it, Arkham Origins is Origins. It's a prequel. That's valid. That makes sense. Okay. okay. So anyway, I really like the Joker story in that. I was pissed that there was Joker in it. Like, I tweeted angrily, like, you fucks. Like, you told me it was going to be Black Mask, and it was Joker. Spoiler alert. Right. But nah, after they made, they just really made a good, it was like a really well-written Joker story, and sure. so I got over it. Anyway. Did you play Asylum as Joker? Did you try that DLC? Uh, yeah, it was fun. Was it was it kind of like, they made it better by the time they got to City, where you could be Robin or Nightwing or Catwoman. Catwoman. Uh, yeah. Those were all, like, much more fleshed out characters, and I'm excited to be Red Hood and everyone else you could be in this next game. I was not a fan of buying pre-owned from GameStop. There's your first problem, I guess. Uh, I bought Arkham City without the Catwoman, Catwoman DLC, and so you have that first mission. You're literally or missing a mission. Well, what's weird is that they say, I think there's even text in the game where it's like, oh, if you want to play as Catwoman, buy the DLC. I'm like, yeah. dude, you just took me out of the game. Mm -hmm. It was good. I, you know, I, I personally uh, got scared playing that game i was so uncomfortable from, playing from that what? arkham city i'm not sure i think it was just the overall feeling of it and i was just like this makes me uncomfortable to play so i didn't play it for a while and then i went back and played it when it was like a playstation plus game i think i got it for free yeah and then i decided to try sure. to do it and i had to do that stupid i mean i start. just play the challenge rooms like um after years after it came out i would just boot it up for a good i could sit there and for an hour and play those unlimited yeah. challenge levels because I could just switch the costumes so one day I'd be Batman Beyond, then I'd be Batman the Animated Series, Batman, and sure. it still have Kevin Conroy's voice, so it not have mattered. 
because Kevin Conroy does the voice. Else? I like him as Batman. He's but was well. He he's the animated else? series. Like he's the Batman ah, from animated series, sense. and he's like he, most of the animated movies. Like before the newest stuff, he, he was, was Batman. Was he Dark Knight Returns? No, that was uh, RoboCop. The guy who played RoboCop was huh. uh, I can't remember his name at the moment, which I feel okay. really bad. But anyway, that's so, the point. Mine. Uh, your, your first one. My first one of the same caliber of games. I'm actually going to go... A lot of mine are nostalgia-based, because okay. I haven't played a good superhero game in a while, except for the one that I think we agree on is, yeah, yeah. is the best one. But uh, mine is The Punisher, uh, because I... The original Punisher, not... What, what was the other one? That, no Mercy was no a Mercy. PlayStation-exclusive PSN right, game? Right, right, right. So it definitely was a bad first-person shooter. It was The Punisher because... Um, when I went to Canada, all my family's from Canada, and I went to go see my grandfather, and he... Uh, he was like Chris. You know, we're gonna we'll go to we'll go to this. They, that was when they had EB Games. Like they it wasn't still even, do in Canada. Actually. I know they still. I drove by the one because this is what made me think of it. I actually drove by that EB Games and I walked in and and. Uh, were you, did you drive by that EB Games when you were hanging out with Jared Leto? No, that was that was the day after okay. when I was already buzzed from all of his fantastic drugs he gave me. He's not on drugs. Anyway, fuck it. He's, uh, a, he's an amazing actor. How he dare is you? He's an amazing actor. You know what his drug? Great acting. Oh, that's and good. And he's hooked on it. Yeah. So anyway. Um, so I, I got this, and we walked into EB Games, and my grandpa said, you know, you buy whatever you want. Just get something, and we'll, and we'll go. And the week before, when I was back home in the States, uh, my mom saw me playing a demo for The Punisher. Because mm-hmm. back at EB Games, man, they let you do any demo. I played God of War in a demo, yeah. and that was some violent shit. And I did the same thing for Punisher, where I had, like, the the uh, execution table on the first level, yeah. where you throw them onto the table, and you pick out what limb to blow off with a shotgun. And my mom saw me do that, and she's like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Mm-hmm. And so I was in the store, and my grandpa was like, buy whatever you want. And I happened to walk by, and I was like, whoa, that's The Punisher. Let me see if this works. And so I walked up to him, and I was as a 12-year-old kid. I was like, hey, man, sir. I didn't say man. Uh, could I buy this? And he goes, yeah, I don't care. Because I don't think he knew what any of it meant. Of course, yeah. And so I got it. I took so it home. So you pulled one I over on your grandfather. Pulled so one over my could... grandfather. He's a fantastic fellow. And uh, I played it. I loved it. I still love it. I actually haven't beaten it. Um, I, I played it on my 360 when they did the backwards compatible stuff, because for some reason it was backwards compatible. And I got to the, I call him the Dolph. It was the Swedish dude near the Dolph end Lundgren? of the game. Yeah, yeah. It was near the end of the game. He had a red and white shirt. Yeah, he you just couldn't beat him as a boss. It was very difficult to play, and it was a long mission. I was probably maybe three missions away from beating the entire game, that but sucks. I just couldn't get past it. And then I got the the new Xbox 360, and it wasn't back from Spider anymore. So I'm gonna actually finish it. But what I did play was fantastic. It was cool. Understood nothing of the story, but just did the- you watch the movie? Oh yeah, it was one of the it takes place in Tampa. That was great. My dad's building was in it. Uh, the Sykes building. Nope. Oh, well, it's funny is because I, I work downtown, mm-hmm. right? And uh, in there, both Edward Scissorhands and The Punisher took place in that same building. Oh, yeah. And so I'm in there, and there's like these like framed pictures of like when they use those two buildings and those two That's movies. And I'm like, hey, neat. Yeah. Anyway. So that was my game. Totally nostalgia based. Had nothing to do with comic books. Uh, it just happens to be a comic book title, and it was on the list. And I thought, okay, okay. I liked it. So what, what do you got for your next All right. One? My second one is Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Because yeah. uh, I think that. Fight Stick or Game Pad? I mean gamepad. I don't. I don't do fight sticks. I don't know. See, I've always heard you can't play a good fighting game with a. Game it's pad. a Street Fighter based fighting game, and those are hard to do, unless uh, like, like a Mortal Kombat fighting game you could do with kind of a, a like a, a controller. It's a lot easier. Yeah. But you know whatever. You, you do the quarter circle turns, and I just you could be so many different guys. And they, again, I think it's the costumes that get me to good comic yeah. book game because there's something about a costume from a comic book you read that nobody else really, not many people unless they know sure. comic books knows, that gets you just psyched to be that version of that character, even though he does exactly the same thing as the... How many different characters it. were there in the game? There was, of uh, the Marvel side, had like 30, really? 25 or something Alternate versus Capcom. Two, costumes like... are six like per person. Are they? So yeah, that's my question, because you played a lot of Marvel and a lot of DC games. Uh, the characters, do they go deeper in the lore of, Rocket co- of Raccoon costumes was with Marvel or DC? Well, um, both are about equal, I would say. Yeah, because, I mean, depending on how much you read, like there's there's a... Captain America was once the Punisher played Captain or not played the Punisher was Captain America for a while and so there's the Punisher Captain America costume oh, that's kind of fun. which is kind of fun yeah Rocket Raccoon was in that game and there was no Guardians of the Galaxy yet that movie hadn't come out so like that was a pretty deep cut in general Rocket Raccoon was in Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom. Oh, I thought okay, but he still he was part of the Guardians of the Galaxy, but just not the movie. Yeah, but there was no movie franchise, so the fact that like that guy was even in there was crazy. Okay, Um, and just it was. I think that if you play the, I mean, sometimes I'll get in there and I'll be Iron Man, Cap, and Thor, and just pretend I'm the Avengers and just beat up on whoever shows up, you know, or I'll be Spider Man or Venom or. Is there a story? Do they? There, the stories are like classic. They're not as good as something like Injustice. 
um, where it's an actual story. But well, when are we going to talk about that? I one? Don't we have know. one pick left. Um, <laughs> the uh, but it's a classic like arcade where it, like it'll give you like a intro paragraph and like this guy when the world attacked did this and then it ended like this guy did it when he saved the day. But I mean you fight. Um, Galactus at the end of that game, okay. like every time, and you have to fight the heralds of Galactus, which is a cool thing in about comic books. Was and Galactus the dude at the end of the uh, Green Lantern? No, he or was no. it the end of the end of Lego Marvel? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Okay. The giant guy that eats worlds. Right. Yes, that's exactly what it was. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So. So yeah. So that I really like that game. It's not story based comic booky, but you make it comic booky by just like the characters. There was Hawkeye in it, and like he was in this fun. Hawkeye costume, and uh, the Ultimate version had more characters than the standard yeah. version, so it was. I really, really enjoyed that game. It's not story-based. It's not, like, the best. But yeah. just to be comic book characters whenever you just kind of want to boot it up, it's great. And okay. it works on the, okay. the Vita, uh, Vita TV. That's the only game I own for that Vita TV. Yeah, I remember because we did an unboxing of that on our, yeah. our Cardboard Box uh, YouTube page. Sorry, what's your second? CBX Cass. YouTube. Casts. Cass. C-A-S-T-S. Um, C-A-S-T-S. Uh, my second one is second to Spider-Man 2. Spider-Man 2 was a fan. That's a really great. Game. That's the best Spider-Man game they've ever made. There's no doubt I, in my mind. Oh, there's no doubt in my mind either. My balloon sticks. I hear it every time I walk my outside. My balloon! Yes, that's, I hear that every time I walk outside. Um, but the thing that I think sold that game is the web webbing mechanics. For one, they fixed it. You weren't reaching out to the sky. You had to hit a building. Right. And Well, left... sometimes. A fucking helicopter would pop up out of nowhere. Well, and you can hang occasion. on that thing. It's great. But, like, left and right bumper, I think it was, at to the gain, time, To was... gain, like, momentum. Well, it was you were shooting out with your left and right hand. Yep. Which they never did again. I don't yeah, understand it. that was weird. That was like the best web mechanic because you're like, I'm Spider-Man. Like yep. you felt, it felt great flying through New York City. It was one of the first open world games that felt good going through it like in the, you know, Spider-Man. it was Spider a long story too. It was a long it was story. A very long story. I it that. had Tobey Maguire, either Tobey Maguire or a guy that was pretending to be Tobey Maguire. He was very good Tobey Maguire if he was pretending. He was I think good. it really was, but it was just like clips of the movie they Yeah, they actually, I think it was clips of the movie. I think it was literally a very faithful adaptation would you Not say that's probably they added best. shit to that? But yeah, but I mean, in terms of core storyline, it would be a very faithful adaptation from the movie. Would you consider that being one of like the best movie-based video games too? Like, consider the movie yeah, based yeah. Movie. I would say that that's up there with like Riddick and with um, which was one of the best uh, mm -hmm. movie. Uh, Escape from Butcher Bay or the the comp the new one they had both it had Mark okay, Athena okay. and like whatever either Butcher Bay. Is, I mean, whatever sure. before they had a remake. Uh, but yeah, I would say that that's definitely one of the top movie games. There's tons that I usually rattle off to prove to people that there are good movie games, but I forget at the moment. But, but yeah. it's usually it's, it's in the other way around, though. So people say that there's no good video games adaptations to film, which we'll see next year with Assassin's Creed. With right. Michael Fassbender. Michael Fassbender. Which has, I uh, don't understand, but that's fine. That'll be yeah, fine. Yeah, and the Warcraft movie's coming out, too. Yeah, that was pretty cool, actually. I, was, I, I saw like some tests. They're still at a miss for not making a Halo movie. It seems like real easy. Oh. Halo. I'm sorry, Chris. That's we'll okay. talk about that in the Xbox thing. So the way that I got this game, though, as a child, you were probably an asshole. I know I was. No, I was, I was pretty much afraid to be an asshole. I was, well, that's the trouble. I was also afraid, but I was also, like, we went to, I think we went to, like, Las Vegas or something with my family, because that's what a mom should do, take her 11-year-old son to Las Vegas. And so I was there, and we were in, like, this big shopping mall, and, of course, there's a GameStop, and I'm like, I want to go to GameStop. So I'm thinking, I'm going to go to GameStop, and I walk in there, and my mom said, we were in, a, like, a clothing store earlier, and she's like, you can get any clothing item you want. Vegas-related, uh, souvenir kind of thing. And I looked, I was like, I want Spider-Man 2. Like, I, I, didn't, I knew it already because I played a demo again. Of course, GameStop. demos were... They were fantastic because oh, I got yeah. it in the official Xbox magazine mm. and, I, and I played the demo disc. And so I told her, I was like, yeah, I really want, uh, really want Spider-Man 2. She's like, no, you're not going to get that. I need you to get shoes or a shirt or something. And I was like, you know what? I don't want anything. And I was just like, I was a prick. And then we got home and then my mom was like, Chris, I need you to clean up some stuff. And I said, what are you talking about? And she's like, clean this up. It's literally what she did. And she showed me the game and I was like, what? I'm spoiled. <laughs> and so I played it and I played the shit out of it. And I, I that was one of the first games I like, I got to like 90% completion. Wow. Because it's I just. impressive as a kid. I just loved it as a game and I didn't have, I mean, I had God of War and King of Hearts sitting there, I think. I might have was just, it was. the wrong time period. But it was, amazing. I just loved those games. But those, that was my number two. Number one, we can agree, is well, an actual number I don't know if it's number, number one. one. I feel like they're not really in, I think we just both. You think so? I, think I would put this I still, as my number one, and I don't even make a list. Oh, I um, I still like. I think Arkham. I would say is still my number one. Actually, you know what? I do play. I bought Justice like four times. So it's a fucking spoiler again. We, we're about to say it anyway. And Justice just Gods did. Among Us. There we go. That's Ultimate the one edition or regular. Ultimate, because you got everything. I didn't play Ultimate. But so. it does. Well, you get, you get like regular's three more characters. Good for me. Regular's good enough, but all the costumes in that you yep. could be. Everybody you ever want to be. You could be TV show era, right? Didn't they do DLC? Yeah, you yeah. Do... You TV show era. So, yeah. And it was actually Stephen Mel's voice. Right, that's what I remember too. That was pretty cool. He reached out to them for that. 
Did actually. he really? Yeah, he was like, oh, hey, can fun. I be Arrow? And they're like, y- you want to be Arrow? And he's like, yeah. Huh. And they're like, sure. In the actual show or in the game? In the game. Okay, because he was it, already Arrow in the show. Right, right, right. And he heard okay. about the game. He's that like, hey. Sense. And they're like, yeah, sure, we'll make a thing. And then that's huh. why he was also for the Lego Batman 3 thing. Huh. Because he's like down to be like any time. He's like, I want to be an Arrow. Yeah. That's great. I love it. Stephen Amell's great. Friend of the show. Yeah, um, friend of the show, Steven. So the story got me. That was The story was fantastic. Oh, so good. I thought it was really good. The combat, I, I'm not really good at fighting games. I don't have a, a stick. I don't have any of that. I it's so the fun, game though. Yeah, exactly. It was a lot of fun. But really, honestly, it really was. I put the, the difficulty on easy because I wanted to enjoy the story. The story was really I, good. I, like, what, 8 to 10 hours, I think, right? Yeah, it's a, it's it's a, a long game. I mean, game. That's, that was like the second or third game that Mortal Kombat did that had the story. Yep. The first one was... Was Mortal Kombat vs. DC. Yep. They made a story like that, so it made sense why these characters were fighting, which I thought was an admirable effort. They never do yeah. that. You know, they never explain that. And then Mortal Kombat the 9, yeah. and then Injustice Gods Among Us, and then Mortal Kombat 10, obviously. Um, I'm hoping there's an Injustice 2 next year. How many of the... Because they, they did, a, like, what, maybe four-issue prologue? Of what? Of uh, Injustice... And then, no, there was way more. I mean, there was a... No, no, I thought it was a prologue, four-issue prologue, and then they did an actual, like, year two. Now they're in year four. Like, they're uh, still it was, making... It, they were 99 cents instead of two or three dollars or whatever, because they were shorter issues. There was a good 12 to 13 issues that... Before the game? Um, kind of... Well, the thing that was, was weird about it is I got to a point where all of a sudden the lines were blurred, because yeah. the universe that Injustice exists in is years and years and years after, because it was almost like a time warp, because remember, oh. Superman had already taken over for years. Right, right, right. And so the, the events that led up to, like, the moment was probably about ten issues, which is really six issues, I would hmm. say, because, like I said, they were making them shorter. Okay. Um, the comic book is really good, by the way. Uh, yeah. I really, really liked it, and that was a weird thing. It was a good comic book video game comic book, which was... It was like, that's too many... Yeah, it's really crazy. Uh, yeah. But after that, I started getting... I wanted to read more, but it was also like, I kind of played the video game... So do I need no more backstory? Like I kind of got in that weird mode, but yeah. I hear like crazy stuff that's happening in year two and year three. They're in year three now, I think. Hmm. I thought the, it was year of four. Of the comic book, actually. maybe. I think but it's in four. There's a lot of this comic book, and it keeps going because it's really well written. Yeah, it's good, and the story was really fun. Story was to read. very good. Combat was good. Character models I thought were really nice. It was a good looking game. Aquaman's like creepy looking though. Aquaman's well, Aquaman's cave Atlantis, I guess is Atlantis. what it is. Like when you're able to like throw and break the glass and all like the fish. Yeah, stuff, all of the cool. really cool like uh, stage interactions yep. and like you're hitting Batman's car, like the Batmobile, and it shoots missiles and yep. you're knocking people down in the you know in the in the watchtower and all sorts of stuff. Yeah, it was a good game. All right, so that's that's our pick. Uh, my pick, honestly, I would say is the top game that I really enjoyed. Uh, that was we agree on that one. Yeah, we do agree on that one. So now it's time for the fun stuff the worst of the worst games yeah and my worst games are pretty easy uh and it's weird i've only played one of them the other two i've just read enough about and seen enough gameplay footage and i'm like this is the worst game i've ever seen it's okay so you go first with all three yeah all three uh spider-man 3 after the love i had for spider-man 2 they I really dropped the ball Spider-Man it 3, was on enjoy this the next gen console it and it still wasn't it was it was bad there has not been a good i would honestly say Spider-Man franchise. Since you did the Arkham franchise, Spider-Man franchise, omitting Spider-Man 2 has not been a good game. Web of, of Shadows. Web of, web of Shadows, that's when they did the different, like, Spider-Man 2000 or that 3000 That was cool, or whatever. but it still was not. still wasn't very good. Because you, you had a defined area where you could fly around or Yeah, around and you were, it. but you were got to be, like, 2099. You had to be cool different spider man yeah. which was cool, but... So that wasn't great. Um, and then there was Iron Man 2. That's so bad. And Green Lantern. I liked Green Lantern, right? Did the you Manhunters, really? But that's because I love Green Lantern. That's the trouble. You it's got, It was it's a shit. shitty, got a, not a shitty, but it was a mediocre God of War clone. Right. Where instead of bringing out claws, you'd bring out, like, I don't know, something. He'd make something out of constructs that would do the similar sure. thing. That would be, you know, wiping out people and doing stuff. And I liked the Manhunters as an enemy in Green Lantern. So it was a... Quasi sequel to the movie. Okay. Uh, you were Ryan Reynolds, Ryan Green Reynolds? Lanterns. I don't know if it was his voice or not. Was it, it might close? have been. Was it like a Tobey Maguire thing? It might have been. Okay. I can't remember. It might have actually been him. It's possible. He seems what like a guy that would Tobey do that. Maguire? That'd be crazy. And what if Tobey Maguire was was Ryan Reynolds in the Spider Man Two? Well, what if Ryan Reynolds got his start as Tobey Maguire's voice villain for Spider Man Two? <laughs> what were your three most disliked? Anyway, um. Uh, the uh, Punisher No Mercy we talked about that briefly earlier it was a Sony made by Sony like uh, for PlayStation only like it was some internal dev or it was published by them I think or something it was PSN though right yeah it was a PSN game it was was 15 15 bucks bucks. so at the time it seemed cool because like $15 Punisher game and it's like a shooter why not and it just wasn't very good I've only played like three times it was pretty bad I think even when I played through completion three times no like I played it a couple times okay good just double check Um, because like I think it was even one of the games when my 
uh, OG PS3 broke, I didn't even bother re-downloading it to no. the new one because I was go. just like, I'm never going to touch it. Um, Iron Man 2 was also on my list of terrible yeah. games because even the demo, I was like, ah, this is really bad. Like, even Iron Man 1, you're like, hey, I'm flying around, but you can do better flying around in a terrible Superman Returns game than you can, which the only redeeming quality of that game is flying around. Do you ever play Superman Returns? No. Oh, yeah, I did, because you could do, like, a charged burst and, yeah. go, and fly and you really felt fast. really fast. It was really cool. Yeah. The flying was really cool. That was you fun. couldn't, you, you hit a building, though, and you would stop. You're like, that doesn't make any sense. Yeah, but you didn't do it. you were so fast, though, in that game damage. that you could pick up a car and throw it, and you could fly and catch it again. Yep. I was I, like, that's I what didn't. Superman would do. I actually enjoyed that game. I didn't actually do any of the combat. I got through three no. of the story missions. Yeah, and me too, but just flying stupid. around was just that a was blast. Great. Yeah, but anyway, it's... Arguably a bad game, but my worst game. Speaking of Superman, Did is Superman sixty four. Did you just sneak an, an honorable mention in there, by the way? No. You son of a bitch. All right. Uh, <laughs> Superman sixty four is the worst. Yeah. Oh, one of maybe one of the worst video games. Not mm-hmm. even just comic book. It's really bad. What makes it so bad? You can't like, it's fog everywhere because it's sixty four, okay. right? You can't really see very far, and then it'll be like, use your laser eyes to do this, and you'll press every C button, you'll press the trigger, you'll press the the bumpers. None of it does anything. And it doesn't tell you. Did you ever look? Because we talked about this in our video. I feel like when I bought it again, I tried looking it up, and maybe I figured it out, but I don't remember. You haven't done it? Now you're going to do it again, though. You're going to have to play it again. Yeah, I'll play it again, and I'll report back next week. Should you do a live stream? Can you do that? No, I don't want 64. I don't have You can, like, like that. out it through the HDMI port or HDMI in. No, because there's no HDMI. It. I have well, no, no way to plug convert, in. I don't think, I'm it's sure really expensive. No, it's HDMI. way more expensive is than you think it is. Yeah, because I tried looking it up for... I feel like it was for Sarah's parents' TV. We were trying to get them to have HD or something or other. And I went to the Radio Shack and I was like, hey, I have HDMI out. How do I make this plug into their you know, component? And they're like, right. no. Okay. It'll cost you like $150. And I was like, ah, get out of here. All right. So, yeah, well, that's that. Quick recap of our list. I had for my good game, Spider-Man 2. I forgot Punisher? the rest of it. Punisher? And then and uh, Don't say it. Ah, Injustice. Because that was when we agreed on. And I had... The Batman Arkham series, yeah. it's very good. I really like that. Marvel vs. Capcom, yeah. all of them, but 3 was the one I was talking about. Sure. And then Injustice as well. Got it. So that's about it. Yeah, we're not going to mention the bad ones again. Yeah, they, you, they you heard it. They were not good. It was a thing. Um, so your favorite games, tweet at us, at Comic Chat WGAT. Yep. Because we couldn't use the word with and can put, can't put a slash in the Twitter handle. Um, so at Comic Chat WGAT, tweet us your favorite games, tweet us your hated games for comic books, for video games. Um, hopefully we're going to see some reveals at E3 that may have to do. do you, can you see anything? Video PlayStation related? PlayStation might have uh, some Arkham exclusive stuff because they always WB do. and PlayStation are pretty close. So Especially you, with the game coming out, what, next it's week? It's coming out, yeah, next week. Okay, so a week after uh, Sony. The E3, the, so Sony E3. they might talk about, yeah, so there, there's the exclusive console coming out next okay. week, so they've got all that stuff going so on. So those those are the big things. Um, always tweet at us, Instagram, comic chat with Gat? Yep, the whole okay, thing. So comic chat with Gat, Instagram, uh, see bxcast.com you can subscribe um, to our uh, podcast by searching comic chat with gat yep that's a good thing i, I fucked up the twitter because everything else is great it's with, with gat well and mine's w gat and everyone's like oh, i'm gonna find them on twitter and they don't exist i feel like if you type in comic chat and you search you probably find us i would imagine probably um so that's it that's yeah the show. so thanks for listening Every week, if you guys are catching this because it's an E3 trend, every week we go over some of the big topics in comic books, and we also like to go over uh, specific characters. So we just did a great, uh, we both watched the Green Lantern movie. I'd never seen it. We watched it together. Uh, So split into two parts. You should go check that out. That's a lot of fun. And then we have some information on, what did we do? What was the last character we did? We, we do... No, because before that, we were going to do topical stuff. So we were talking about Batman versus Superman. Yeah. We talked about, we did... Oh, we we had a great issue on the convergence yeah convergence and multiversity God, last man, did you, you guys, listen to that holy crap yes it's so deep dude if you if you guys want to learn about those and not read it just definitely t- uh, take a listen it's about half an hour longer episodes we like yep, to keep them we're trying to keep them 30 good. minutes now on your drive to work that's what we want you to do on your drive home drive to uh, we hope you enjoy it and we want to thank Sarah for sitting on the couch next to us <laughs> and not saying nope I was going to say not saying a word but that was ruined uh, but otherwise I'm just kidding Sarah uh this was the comic, comic chat with Gat. Thanks for listening. We'll see you next week. Excelsior. Or see us. You'll hear us next week. Yeah. <laughs> Excelsior, you piece of <laughs> shit. <laughs> Excelsior in there. Sarah, what's your favorite comic book before he, before he closes it? We've never had you on the show before. Don't don't point. Don't point. She knows. You like that one, didn't you? Oh, Avatar? Yeah, well, I, guess, I guess it counts. Avatar was your favorite? The... She's looking at Taylor for approval. No, no, I'm trying to think of what the first one was called. Search? No, this is the search. That's the search. The Promise? Yeah. I hated that one. Oh, okay, so it's not Avatar The Promise. Nope. 
Well, well, this was riveting. Thank you for joining us on this week's Comic Chat with Sarah. Celsius. <laughs> <laughs>